Welcome to the Area School. Do you need offline? Hello, kids. It's Aria with you today. We are going to talk about unit of length. Inch The inch is a small unit of length. 12 inches make up a foot. Compared to the metric system, an inch equals 2.54 cm. Inches are used for smaller lengths such as measuring the length of the pencil or the width of the eraser. Foot A foot is also a unit of length. There are 12 inches in a foot and 3 feet in a yard. Compared to the metric system, a foot equals 0.3048 meters. Feet are used to measure medium-sized length, such as the height of the person or the width of a room. Yard the yard is a unit of length used for a medium-sized distances, like the length of the football field. There are three feet in a yard. In the metric system, one yard is 0.9144 meters. Mile The mile is used for long lengths, like the distance between two cities. There are 5.280 feet in a mile. There are around 1 and 6 kilometers in a mile. Meter The metric system uses the meter as its basic unit of length. For a very small length, a millimeter is used, which is thousands of a meter. Kilometer The kilometer is used for long distances in a metric system. There are 1,000 meters in a kilometer. Much more interesting and useful information awaits you in the following episodes. See you later! Geometric Shapes And right now, we are going to learn geometric shapes that will be useful for you in future. And here they are. Cube Hexagonal prism Torus And this shape called sphere The next one is tube Triangle prism Square based pyramid Square And guess this shape It's cone Hemisphere And the last one is Octahedron If you like this episode, let us know in comments down below The top 5 highest mountains in the world Hi kids! Let's find out new things about mountains A mountain is a geological landform that rises above the surrounding land. Mountain climbing is an extremely popular pastime. Mountains make the world more beautiful and interesting. I'm going to tell you the top 5 highest mountains in the world. Mount Everest Everest is situated on the border between Nepal and autonomous region of Tibet. Everest is the world's highest mountain. Its peak is an eye-watering 8,848 meters above sea level, making it well over 8 times taller than the highest mountain in Wales. Everest is a part of seven summits. The seventh summit is a list made up of the highest mountain on each of the world's seven continents. Climbing all seven 
of the Seven Summits is one of the ultimate achievements in the sport of mountaineering. K2 K2, also known officially as Mount Goodwin Austin, has a summit 8,611 meters above sea level. And it has the second highest rate of any mountain with a height over 8,000 meters. It is located on the border between China and Pakistan. The Chinese side of the mountain is widely considered to be the more difficult and hazardous side, so the summit is usually attempted from the Pakistan side. Kanchenjunga Kanchenjunga is the third highest mountain in the world. It sits on the border between Nepal and India and has an elevation of 8,586 meters. There is tradition when ascending Kanchenjunga to stop just short of the summit. This dates back to the first successful climb on the mountain. Every climber since then has followed the respectful example set by the first ascent. Lhotse Lhotse Elevation 8,516 meters is the fourth highest mountain in the world. It neighbors Mount Everest and forms part of the Everest Massif. The summit of Lhotse is on the border between the Kubu region of Nepal and Tibet. This mountain is widely considered to be the most difficult climb over 8,000 meters in the world. Makalu with an elevation of 8,485 meters, Makalu is officially the fifth highest mountain in the world. Situated 19 kilometers southeast of Everest, on the border between Nepal and China, Makalu is notable for its summit icon pyramid shape. This mountain has an isolated position, which leaves it exposed to the elements, and numerous knife-edge ridges and pan filling steep sections. The latter stages of the accent, in particular, involve some extremely technical rock and ice climbing. Thank you for watching! If you found our episode useful, let us know in comments down below. Facts about fruit and vegetables Hey friends! Haven't seen you for a while. How you been doing? What's new? Today, I want to surprise you with some facts about fruit and vegetables. Let's get started! Tomatoes Tomatoes are a fruit, and they are the most popular fruit in the whole world. The confusion about whether it was a fruit or a vegetable arose after the 1890s, when the US Supreme Court named them a vegetable for tax reasons. Strawberries Strawberries are technically not a berry, weird but true. Berries by definition have their seeds on the inside, while strawberries hold their 200 seeds on the outside. Although essentially all you need to know is they are still insanely delicious. Pomegranate A pomegranate can hold up to 1000 seeds. Whilst they are larger than a strawberry, an average sized pomegranate can contain anywhere between from 600 to 1400 seeds or aerials. Potatoes Potatoes were the first vegetable to be grown in space. In October 1995, NASA and the university in the US collaborated to help grow the ever first veggie in space, a potato. Orange Not all oranges are orange. In subtropical regions like Brazil, where they grow some type of oranges, the temperature isn't cold enough for the skin to turn orange. This means the orange could stay green or yellow, even when it's ripe. Cranberries Cranberries can bounce. When they ripe, they bounce. Can you imagine? Broccoli The part of broccoli that you eat is actually flowers, which haven't opened yet. And it's also part of the cabbage family. Pumpkins and cucumbers 
cucumber are also classed as a fruit, not a vegetable. Not to mention olives, avocado, aubergine, and capsicum, which are all also fruits. Durian Durian is the smelliest fruit in the world. The fruit grows on the durian tree and grows in Malaysia, Indonesia, and Thailand. Apparently, it smells of rotten eggs, sweaty socks, and even garbage. Wow, that was awesome! Thank you for being with me. There are some more cool videos on the channel. See you soon! The top 5 longest rivers in the world. Hi kids, my name is Arya, and today we will talk about the top 5 longest rivers in the world. The long and windy flow of the river is an important part of development for any country or culture. Being used for transportation, agriculture, or serving a tourist attraction, providing a visual feast one won't forget. Each and every river is crucial for the area it runs through. But where are the longest and greatest rivers located? Check out our list below to get the answer to that question. Nile River This major river in northeastern Africa is known as the longest river in the world. Stretching over 6,695 kilometers, the Nile is flowing through 11 countries. Sudan, South Sudan, Burundi, Rwanda, Congo Kinshasa, Tanzania, Kenya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Uganda, and Egypt. Amazon River This is the largest river in South America and is used for transportation and agriculture purposes. As the second longest river in the world, the Amazon River is 6,400 km long and at some points reaches the width over 6 miles. Yangtze River The longest river in Asia flows for 6,300 km from Qinghai Tibet Plateau in western China to the East China Sea at Shanghai. The Yangtze River is known in China as the Changjiang and is the longest in the world to flow entirely within one country. Mississippi River Mississippi River is the largest river system in North America, flowing entirely through the United States, from Minnesota to the Gulf of Mexico. It is 3,730 km long, being ranked as 4th longest and 10th largest river in the world. Yenisei River Being 3,000 442 km long, the Yenisei River is fifth of our list, racing in Mongolia and flowing into the Arctic Ocean. This river is subject to very wide seasonal temperature variations from over 30 Celsius degree in the summer to minus 30 in the winter time. It was me, Aria, with you today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episodes. Time measurement units. Hello, everybody. Let's talk about time measurement units. Second. The second is the smallest standard unit of time. Smaller units of time are based on the second, such as the nanosecond or the microsecond. There are 60 seconds in a minute. Seconds are used to measure events of short duration like the 100 meter dash. Minute Minute is also a measurement of time. There are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. Hour The hour is a medium length unit of time. There are 60 minutes in an hour and 24 hours in a day. Hours are used to measure durations such as the length of a school day or how long you sleep at night. For longer durations, we can use days, weeks, months, and years. As you 
you've already been told, a day is 24 hours. A week consists of 7 days. A month is 4 weeks or 30 days. And a whole year consists either of 365 either 366 days or 52 weeks. It was me, Aria, with you today. See you soon.